Hi everyone, my name is Mim and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. So, uh, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to uh, the Mimi uh, family. And if you're an old subscriber, thank you for bearing with me this year, or shall I say 2018. Yeah, we are actually in a new year, but 2018 was a busy year for me. And uh, I thought I'll start off my channel this year in 2009. Uh, with a haul which my channel is known for um, and before I start I'd just like to wish you a happy 2019 so some of these items are items that I bought during the sale of 2018 stroke 2019 and a few of the items I bought when I went on holiday so that item there which is by a brand called Ray Coach and then another item in that jewelry box so without further ado let's get started so i'm going to start off uh, the video with um the older items that i bought uh, so and to to the most recent ones so the ones i bought in the sale um so these are two items that i bought when i was on holiday so one is a ring and one two items in here are bangles so i'll just start off with the ring so I bought this item um, when I went to uh, Mississippi. There's a shop down there that was closing down and uh, they were doing really good deals on rings. And I went there with a friend of mine, not thinking I would buy anything, but I ended up buying this item in the box. So this is the item here. It's a ring, just an ordinary silver plated ring. I'll just take it out and put it on my hand. And that's basically what it looks like. Now you can see that I'm using my Note 4. There we go. So the... Ooh, hold on a second. There we go. So that's what it looks like. And I believe I got it for about 70 something dollars. I re think I believe it was that amount. And in English money, it came to about, I don't know, 70 something pounds, 75 pounds, I believe. So that's what it looks like from the back, and it's uh, silver. So the other two items are um, bangles that I got from a coach um, outlet store in Buckhead, I think it was. Is it Buckhead? Or Biloxi, Belux, Mississippi, sorry if I get the information wrong. So each bangle came in its own individual pouch, but um, I just put them in one pouch just to save time. And it came in with a booklet, and the booklet basically tells you about if it's sterling, uh, what to expect, if it's fashion jewellery, what to expect. So that's that. And this is what they look like. So this one is rose gold. They had them in silver, so I bought one of each. Um, I should have bought the silver one. I don't know why I didn't. This is yellow gold. I believe they're plated. They're costume jewelry, but they're really beautiful. The only thing I discovered about them later on was the fact that the clasp keeps on opening. So you do them like that. And I'm just going to put both of them on so you can see what they look like. So as you can see, side by side, they look amazing. And this is a rose gold one, and I found that this one, the clasp is not as secure as this one, which is the yellow gold. So I'm going to have to most likely be vigilant when I wear them, which is a bit of a shame. So the price. So believe it or not, uh, these cost uh, $18, um, which is an amazing saving. I think they cost over $100 each. And they were getting rid of them and I got them for $18 in English money. I think that worked out to be about £15 each. So the last item I bought was a pair of shoes from a brand called Ray. Never heard of them. So I'm going to insert pictures of these items. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing at this angle because this is the best angle for me to do all the, um, the items that I bought. And I bought this in a um, designer consignment shop downtown... Um, Mississippi um, Hattiesburg and the original price for this is ooh, is it 60 I can't remember how much it is 
it was I think it was over a hundred dollars don't remember exactly it was quite expensive then it went down to 30 and I believe I got it for 20 dollars in the end so as I said I'll put pictures but it's a sock kind of shoe it was actually too big but I thought I'll buy it and then put um you know those things that you put inside shoes to prevent them from moving I, mm. if I can remember I'll put it down in the information box below so another thing I bought which I always buy is the lotion for my Iris Credi perfume absolutely love it um I, I don't know whether I've told you before in past videos but I always layer my perfumes so when I when I decide what perfume I'm going to wear, I always start off with the lotion. I put it on my arms, around my neck, and that's what it looks like. And then I, sorry, I just realised I, I stopped talking and I stopped the, the video. So I put my perfume on my arms and my neck, and then I put my perfume around my neck, uh, the temples of my arms here, and then just in the crook of my elbow here. So the next items are also uh, perfumes. So I don't know whether you're used to, you know anything about this brand. It's called Mason Francis uh, Cordesian Paris. And it's Baccarat Rouge 540. I believe I did it. Uh, I did feature this in a haul I did last year. So it basically lasts for a year. And the reason why it lasts for a year is because... I use it in conjunction with my other perfumes. I don't use this one every single day. So because I have about five different perfumes that I use, I managed to make them last for about a year. So that's the perfume there. That's 70 ml. I'll show you what it looks like outside the bottle. Sorry, I meant to say what it looks like outside the packaging. So that's what it looks like. That's the old one, which is literally just finished. The new one that I bought, I bought it about a month or two months ago when they were doing a 10% sale in Harrods. So I live in the UK and Harrods is a very well-known, established um, department, high-end department store like Saks Avenue. And that's the bottle. It came in 70 mil. And at the time they were doing a 10% weekend and I got it for £195, I believe. I'll just check. No, sorry. It comes, it's priced at 195 I got it for hundred and seventy five uh, pounds fifty so this time I wanted to actually get the extract perfume but that cost about two hundred and ninety five pounds and I didn't have the money so I decided to get um, the scented body oil which I've never actually bought before this is my first time and they were also doing us uh, they're coming to the end of the sales I bought this on Harrods too and it, the original price is seventy five pounds and I got ten percent off so I bought it for £67.50 so it comes with that little booklet there and then it comes just it comes just as a perf it looks like a perfume but it's actually a body oil so that's a 70 ml perfume or the perfume that's the body cream that I say I always use with my perfumes and I've added the scented oil on top of it so if you want your perfumes to last longer it's good to layer them Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, I asked the guy for a tester of the Eau de Parfume Extract, which is much stronger, and he kindly gave me these two. They don't actually have um, testers, but he made one up for me. So, I'm just going on to the very first item that I bought during the sale, one of the first items I bought during the sale, and which is a guest bag. So, I thought I'd take the phone off because I won't be able to show you this bag. So... This is what it looks like. I'll, I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a picture because I'm trying to make it that I can um, show you all the items that I bought at really good angles, but it's, it's not working. So that's what the bag looks like um, from the front. It's uh, got packaging inside because I told them to leave the packaging. It's got a pocket here. There, one pocket there. And I'll just remove the paper. So it's got, that's what it looks like uh, with all the packaging out. It's got a pocket there. And then it's got another pocket there. And as I said before, it's got a zipper pocket here. That's the label that says 
guess you probably can't see it. And that's what the bag actually looks like. And that's it from behind. It's got a short strap there, silver hardware. And then it's got a longer strap just there. And that's what the bag actually looks like. So the camera's not focusing, but the original price I was told by the sales associate was 190 something pounds. I don't believe it's 190 something because it's not even, it doesn't look like leather to me. Uh, but I bought it for 35 pounds. So the last few items are jewellery. So I bought some jewellery from Lynx of London. Haken Days, I believe it's called. And last but not least, um, Tiffany. So I'm going to start off with Lynx of London. So all items are packaged in this really nice bag here. And they seal it at the top there. I'm just going to cut the seal. That's what it looks like inside the box. And that's the item right there. So it says that's the box it came in. It says Lynx for London, but you probably can't see the London at the bottom. And that's the item I bought there. It's a three piece chain and I'll bring it out. So that's what it looks like on. And uh, it's got beads. It, they look like uh, beans. I'll insert the name of the actual um, item and it was originally 110 pounds and I got it for 99 pounds so it comes in the yellow gold gold plated um, rose gold which I was debating with and silver so I'm just going to show you what it looks like close up so that's what it looks like it's a really beautiful piece and it's not I don't believe it's gold I think it's gold plated that's right so the next item i bought was from haken days i already have an item from them already so this item i bought in tk max i believe and this way this is what it looks like i don't actually remember how much i bought it for it's been a while i think it was about either 50 or 30 something pounds i can't remember um, but I bought it from TK Maxx, you call it TJ Maxx in America. It's uh, the larger version. So it comes in this really pretty packaging like this. Um, if you want to see how it's packaged, um, I'll show you at the end of the video. And obviously, obviously because I bought it in Harrods, it comes in this really pretty ribbon that just says Harrods, Harrods, Harrods. And inside the box is another box and that's the box that you get it in when you buy it and it comes in this little pouch um, like before one is better quality than the other one and this is the item that I bought so it's a thinner version of the other item that I bought and I'm not sure what the name is um, so I'm not sure what you can actually see it's got um hearts on it you probably can't see it um, let me see if I can focus properly I'm so sorry I can't seem to get it to focus so you're gonna have to believe me that it's it's um, got hearts on it so on one heart is upwards the other one is backwards it's up, upside down I believe so unfortunately you can't see but it was originally 85 pounds and I got 10% off obviously because I bought it in Harrods and I bought it for £76.50. So I'm hoping this video is not going to cut out because I know on YouTube you're only given a certain amount of minutes to tape. Um, but the last item I bought was from Tiffany and it came in this tiny little box here because it's just a small jewellery item. And when you buy Tiffany items, they come in that box, as I, that bag, sorry, as I said. That's the receipt that you get. I've got a little card which tells me how to take care of the sterling silver. And it comes in this little box here with this nice little bow. It would be nice if the 
ribbon had Tiffany Tiffany on it. But can't have everything. And then at the bottom is foam. And then you get this little pouch to put your item in. And can you guess what I got? Can you see it? Can you guess? Okay, I'm going to bring it out. So I got the Return to Tiffany bracelet um, in silver. I would have loved the yellow gold, but it's quite expensive. Um, so yeah, that's what I got on the outer part of the pendant. It's got a another silver dial, which I believe has got the code of the item on it up here. I can't actually read what's here because it's quite small. If I can read it um, later on, I will put it in the description box below. And then here it says, let me see if I can read that. So I can't actually read what it says, but this is says Tiffany and Co. I think it says return to Tiffany. I'll, I'll have a look at it online and put it in the description box below. So this actually cost me £145. I actually wanted the one with the bow also, but they didn't have that one in stock. And I also bought this in Harris. So I'm going to put it on and show you what it looks like on my hand. So I wasn't actually able to put it on, so I've just put it on to show you how it would look on my hand. Um, I'm sh I think I'm going to have to get like a hook or something, a safety pin or something to enable me to put it on. So that's basically what it looks like. Anyway, the, this video has gone long enough. Thank you for watching and being patient with all the things that I showed you. And thank you for supporting my channel, even though I haven't been on YouTube for the last six months. Um, if you have any questions about the items, put them in the description box down below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye now.